Hi, it's uh, Kevin Levates here and today what I want to do is talk about ownership. And the reason why I want to talk about ownership is because I happen to own a uh, Huawei P10 phone and my wife has a, uh, a P20 Pro, I believe, and my daughter has an Honor 9. So uh, we've ended up with a whole load of Huawei phones in our household. And uh, of course with the recent uh, spat between China and the US, um, I'm discovering that uh, it's possible that in the near future these phones are not going to have the functionality that I expected them to when I first got them. And this has made me think about all sorts of other questions regarding ownership. Namely, uh, for example, back in the good old days I used to have a huge collection of CDs and I really felt like I owned that music. I could decide to put it on and play it whenever I felt like. and. Um, it, uh, as long as my CD player was functioning, it just worked. Now I use Spotify and so I'm streaming and paying a small amount for uh, each song that I listen to. Uh, similarly with Netflix, instead of having DVDs, now I'm streaming uh, video and uh, movies. So uh, we seem to be moving towards a society where nobody really owns anything anymore. We're renting all the time. And uh, this works all very well and good until something like the uh, recent uh, Huawei debacle starts and suddenly you find that uh, what you thought you owned, what you thought you'd spent good money on, is no longer yours. And when you think about it, there's only one area in which our ownership is actually truly starting to return to us, and that is in the realm of cryptocurrencies, of course. The fact is that I don't even really own my money at the bank. It's there on trust, and uh, of course, the banks are generally going to give it back to me when I want it because it's not good for business to upset all your customers. But the fact is, again, I'm putting it in trust. I don't really own it anymore. So I'm sort of getting to the point in life where I'm wondering perhaps the only thing that I truly own are the private keys to the small quantity of cryptocurrency that I happened to buy about uh, five years ago. and. Uh, that I control and nobody else does, provided I've chosen my uh, private key carefully. So um, I think it's just a, a sort of a philosophical point I'm making here, namely that uh, ownership is changing and there are very few areas in which the individual is actually empowered through true ownership anymore and the only new innovation or new advance that we've seen in recent times that actually reverts ownership back to private individuals rather than centralizing and controlling it uh, is through blockchain and the issuance of cryptocurrency and tokens. I um, hope you found that an interesting observation and thought and uh, please feel free to leave some comments below if you agree or disagree or if you have a differing view. I always love a good debate and uh, see you in the next video soon. Bye for now.